my knowledge to the audience is uh, that it's the second the treatment of treatment option for ESRE, a delayed progression for management of contribution, and finally I will give it a summary. Uh, in introduction to all the CTD highlights, uh, one in approximately one in three adults with a diabetes and one in five adults with a high blood pressure patients may have a chronic kidney disease. And over the 10 year previous from the 2005 to 2015, the number of people dying from the chronic kidney disease uh, across the world is rose by the 31.7%. So for that, every year uh, when we have a walk in the day in the, uh, March of each year, uh, the International Society of Nephrologies and then all over the country uh, do the slogan to give up, to get the uh, to get the kidney help by the various reasons. Uh, this 2019 Walk Kidney Day is a kidney help for everyone, everywhere. So we have to translate that slogan in the Ma version. It says, Niyarai Nurai Dwebi Chapka Chamai. So, according to the definition of the CKD, everybody knows that when the people who have a chronic abnormalities of the kidney structure or function for more than three months, we diagnose as a chronic kidney disease. So, in which way chronic kidney disease uh, presents? Uh, as the markers of the kidney damage, one or more of the markers we mentioned in left side, uh, including albuminuria, during sentiment abnormalities, electrolytes and other abnormalities, and abnormalities detected by astrology, and the structural abnormality detected by imaging, and the history of kidney transplantation uh, in patients. One or more of the that markers of kidney damage combined with the decreased GFR, GFR less than 60 mL per minute bar, 1.73 meters square, according to the GFR category, we define as a people who have a chronic kidney disease. So, chronic kidney disease, we categorize into the GFR as well as albuminuria. In the GFR category, someone who have a Someone who has a GFR or even or more than 90, uh, we categorize as a grade 1. And then if it less another 30, in between 60 to 89, uh, the term is a mildly decreased GFR, uh, we classify as a grade 2. And depending on the GFR less and less, we classify as a grade 3, do A and B and the grade 4 and finally reach into the grade 5. In that stage, we call the end stage renal failure. According to the albuminuria criteria, uh, depending on the, how much albuminuria is in the urine, we categorize it into the A1, A2, and A3. So, normal or mildly increased uh, albuminuria is the we classify as an A1, in which albumin. Uh, Albumin is a albumin creatinine ratio is a less than three milligram per millimole, or depend on the uh, reference uh, milligram per gram calculation we define as a normal or mildly increased albuminuria. If uh, A two criteria, uh, if the albumin creatinine ratio is in between three and thirty milligram per millimole, or thirty to three hundred milligram per gram, that's moderately increased uh, proteinuria, and then. Uh, in three years, uh, it is more than 30 mg per millimole or more than 300 mg per gram. That's a severely increased protein urea. Those GFR and the uh, albumin urea -like criteria, the kidney disease improving global outcome, we call the IMPRIEF in the KD group, uh, classified into the prognosis of the CKD with those two criteria. And if there are four colors that indicate the green color is a mildly increased risk, and the yellow color is a moderately increased risk, and then orange color is a 
uh, high risk and they recognize a very high risk. We classify uh, those four according to the uh, GFR projection and the LDB urea. If we calculate it as someone in the green color, we call the low risk, and then yellow color, moderate risk, high risk, and very high risk, depend on the dead road map. So, in the wall, uh, the incidence of the kidney failure is uh, rising year by year. That line diagram indicates clearly about how much the uh, incidence and prevalence of the CKD rising from the 1986 to 2010. So what about the prevalence? In, similarly to the incidence, prevalence is also increased. So that is a uh, uh, US RDS data. They show that uh, the number of the, the prevalence of the CKD is also, also increasing year by year. So how much the CKD incidence in our country? We have no epidemiological data yet, but uh, uh, the culture and the food and everything is similar to our neighbor country, Thailand. So we calculated from the incidence of the, our neighboring country, Thailand. Thailand incidence is equal or more than 250 per million population per year. That's why we calculated with the, our population in 2014. So the estimated incidence of the CKD in our country is 13,000 per year. Seafarm, caring for well-being.